guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you're new here, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You do not want to be missing any of my content that I've got coming in the next few weeks. So, today's video, I am going to do a try on. I've not done a try on in such a long time, and I wanted to do a try and compare as my first one, and that is going to be about sports bras. I just want to make things right. So lots of us are back in the gym at the moment or trying to do a bit more exercise and be a bit more mobile and active. So I have been looking for good sports bras. I have got a, well, there's a debate about it because I need to get my boobs measured. I haven't had them measured for a long time. It's definitely on my list of to-dos, but um, they are quite heavy. I think they are an F, maybe an E or an, no, they're, they're an E, but I don't know what back I am or anything like that. I've got really big boobs and when I'm exercising, they are literally like all over, jiggling. I feel so uncomfortable in the gym if I don't have really good support and it can actually ruin my workout. It has done it so many times where I've been in the gym and I'm trying to do like a bit of cardio, running or even like weight training and stuff sometimes. If I don't have the correct support, it can really hurt underneath here and all my boobs start to hurt, my back starts to hurt. So having the right support is vital to having a good exercise routine, gym session, whatever you are doing, then finding a high support sports bra if you are a bigger bust. Even if you're not a bigger bust, like I just think a high support sports bra when you are training is so important. So I've got six different sports bras to try on for you. All of the sports bras I'm gonna show you today are linked below in the description. Let me know what you think. Obviously, it's very hard for me to see on camera and see myself, and probably when I watch this back, I'll have a different opinion to what I do as I try them on. But I'm gonna try all of them on, be as honest as possible, and we'll do like a jiggle test. <laughs> got to try on first one that I've had for quite a while actually and that is Gymshark I have a similar one in white and then this one in black and they do have loads of good high support sports bras so I'm gonna try this one on and I'm gonna try and find the white one as well so we can compare but I do work with Gymshark they this was gifted but obviously this is not part of a gifted post I do love working with them I wear Gymshark every single week of my life whether I'm going to work or if I'm going for a walk or going for a dog walk or going to the gym or exercising I wear Gymshark I wear it in a fashion way and I wear it in a sports way so can't rave about Gymshark enough if I didn't like them I wouldn't work with them as much as I do so I just wanted to put that out there just in case anyone thinks I am being biased towards Gymshark I'm still gonna be very honest even though I do have a paid sponsorship with them going forward so I've got it on and I have to say I personally think this bra is made for a smaller bust. I feel like my boobs are like really packed in there so they're coming out a little bit. So if you're someone who's maybe like a big BC and you still really need the support, then I'd go for something like this from Gymshark because it is a really good, like honestly, I feel like as a whole, they're stuck together, they're not moving. But I just feel like it doesn't cover me enough here. And the back's really supportive. You have this like hook and eye detail here and then it's open back but personally for me i feel like i just need a little bit more coverage around in this area there's no cleavage coming out and it is really good for feeling secure like i said it just feels like it's just like one giant boob and um, it's got double straps here so you are fully supported by this bit which is adjustable here and then also another strap here which comes further down and really hikes the girls up so you feel like you are not moving in any way. <laughs> then second, we have one that I have tried before when I didn't have such bigger boobs. So probably about two years ago before I gained about two stone, I did used to wear shock absorber bras quite often, but the one I've got, I'll show you, it's literally so old. I can't even get my boobs in it at all now. So I've got this one to try. I actually got this one from Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna try this one on as well. But the only thing I'm a little bit reluctant about is the bright color. Better for bigger bust, 100%. The only thing I hate is that this is not attached. So literally my nipple could slip out at any point because this is just like, basically like, what's it called? A bando. And then this sheer bit is just over the top. So the design for me is flawed. Like what if you were like, I don't know, on the treadmill and then the next thing you just, you top got caught or something and then you like fully your boobs fully out and you've got no idea like especially when you're jumping around doing a hit class or something or a run no 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 this is not for me however i do like the style of it i just wish this was like a bra you know not like a sheer bra it's very weird design um and then the other thing i hate is the straps because 
I like the straps to be quite high here so that they're like, you know, fully supported. And it's even this like really weird back fat because it's just pushing all of my boob and back fat out of the side. It's just like too low here. It needs to almost come to about here. So I'm really disappointed with this because I was hoping it had such good reviews on Amazon, but I suppose they actually don't move. But it's just more the like design of it, I just hate. But I do actually think this would look really good in tops because it's not giving like that flat boob look. It's, I've definitely got a boob, which is why I think they've put this like bandeau padded bit here. But like, look how stupid it looks from the back with that. I've got this back fat. <laughs> and then I've got this boob issue. So I'll definitely keep it, but I'll def always wear it with like a high top because I'm just so paranoid that, you know, and like it's very cleavagey as well for a sports bra, but they aren't moving. To be fair, the shock, I, I'll give them that, the shock. The shock is real. Number three, these few I got from Amazon altogether and they're all different brands. So this one is Adidas and I've got it in a 36D. It's called the Ultimate Bra in black. All of them I've just picked up in black because I just thought it'd be easier to compare. Um, and this one has like the hook and eye details at the back. So let's try that one on. I had really high hopes for this Adidas one. When I first got it out of the packet, it's great quality. Love this like little logo. High, not too much cleavage. Really nice from the front. Then I tried to put it on. Oh my God, the design is just flawed. So it's a cross back. What is this for start? <laughs> this is a cross back. But obviously to put the cross back on, you have to just put it straight on and over your head and over your neck. But then you have to try and fasten this from behind, which is so hard to do on your own. I like to like fasten it like a bra and put it in front of you and then put the bra on, which obviously most people would do, especially if you like live on your own. It's so hard to just try and fasten this and do this. Then, I don't know what's going on here. I've tried to fasten them tighter. They keep moving, they're not staying up. This is like not going down. And then there's this bit here, which is like so fragile. Like at any point that could just ping off. The whole thing has just been like held together by this. What is going on? Which like I said, it's such a shame because Oh, and now they've gone down. They've moved back down to where they were. They're not staying up. So I'm disappointed with Adidas on this one. I do really like it. Like I said, quality, great coverage. Coming up higher like I wanted from the last one. Coming up more here, like the, instead of the Gymshark one. But the back is just, like they've just tried to overcomplicate it. It needed to be like a strap down the back that connects to here and you can just put it on easily. We don't need all the, you know, mod cons. We just want it to fit and do what it's supposed to do. And right now, it's not doing a right lot because it's moving because I can't get it to be nice and tight, so. Okay, off camera, I've given it another chance. I've pushed these back up, so it is actually a little bit more sturdy now and it's not doing that weird back thing. However, I still stand by this design. How are you supposed to get that on every time easily with this back scenario? So that's the only thing I don't like about it. But now I've pushed these up, I definitely will wear it. I'll just make sure I put this on in my own home. <laughs> Number four is, I've got this on a 12, because I also like them to be quite tight. Like I want them to feel like they are tight on my back, tight on the front, like they have to literally not move my boobs. So I got it in a 12. This one's called Dorina Extreme High Impact Zip Front Sports Bra in Black. Does look quite small, so I'm very scared that it's not even gonna zip up, because that looks like a very small 12. I don't know what I was thinking there with my bazookas, but we shall see. So, I got a little bit confused with this one. It actually isn't an ASOS own brand. It's actually called Dorina. That is the brand and it's for my curves, my way. So this is almost like made for bigger busts and curvaceous women. I've got it in a 12 and as you can see, my boobs are literally, no, I needed a 14 in it. It is actually really nice, nice and simple design. You literally just put it round and you pull it up, which is what I am so about. Um, and I love the back as well. Like it's literally just doing what it needs to do. I think I just need to size up, which is gonna be a shame because I actually do really like how tight this is. And I feel like if I get the 14, it's not gonna have the same kind of pull. However, I have realized I did actually get an ASOS own brand wand as well, which is exactly the same. And this one is a 4505 brand um, from ASOS, their own design, which is exactly the same design. So I'm gonna try that one on and compare it right now because it's such a shame. This one fits so nice. It's just a little bit too, so this is the ASOS one. I've obviously not fastened it up yet. I wanted to just show you. It has a hook and eye in the middle here so that it's really supporting, which I love. And the fabric is just so nice and thick, 
please do not bust out of this. It's very tight because it's a 12 again, but I do feel like it has a bit more coverage. I can pull them up and around and it's very tight. So I do know if I got the 14, it would still be tight. Whereas the other one, it was like, I could definitely like fit my finger underneath it and pull it. So the 14 I know would be too big to give me the support that I'm looking for. Whereas I definitely think if I sized up and went for the 14 in this one, it will definitely be better. So with this one, this compared to the last one, um, is that you can adjust the straps. Whereas on the last one, you can't adjust the straps. It's just literally like, so if you are short in the torso like me, where you like need it to be more pulled up, you just get one size. So I feel like ASOS have just done an upgraded version of that one. So this one I think is my favorite so far. Like I said, I definitely need to just size up so that it's not as um, pressed on my boobs, but this is definitely my favorite one so far. It's easy to get on, adjustable straps at the back, zip up, hook and eye in the middle to support you, and it's not too low. So obviously my boobs at the minute are falling out a little bit at the top, but if it was in the bigger size, you'd be able to see that it probably would finish around here and my boobs wouldn't be like as high as they are. But yeah, favorite one so far. And I think it's probably the cheapest because it's ASOS own brand. Then this one I got in a size large, it's called Warrior High Support Yoga Bra in Black. This one has definitely fit me the best. It's really nice here. Um, and then it's covering me here. And it's got this really cool design at the back. The only thing is I can't make it any higher and I do feel like I just need a little bit more support so it's like this because they are definitely moving around. Like there's not enough support. Like obviously the, with the last ASOS one I just showed you, having that zip there and then obviously the hook and eye and then being able to adjust this, they were like stuck, they were not moving. So I do really like this one. Again, the quality is lovely. It also has this like netting inside, which I think is really good for like, if you're somebody who sweats a lot or you're wanting to do a lot of hit and things like that, this one would be great. Um, but yeah, I do actually really like this one. I think the only thing that lets it down is that these are not adjustable, but if you want in some Something that's like a nice design at the back or you're wanting to wear one that maybe you don't have to wear a top with then I think this one would be a really nice one to have as an actual top for the gym rather than a sports bra and then the last one is from Nike and it's called the Alpha Ultra Breathe Bra engineered breathable ultralight support with dry fit technology from Nike so I don't know whether I'm just being overly critical because it's Nike and I expected a lot with it being Nike and it was definitely the most expensive but it is really really good and I mean it does keep them down it has a nice style feature it's easy to put on it has two different hook and eyes so it's easy to get over the head it has adjustable straps which I've got on at the tightest possible strap at the moment the thing is this is a medium and I've told you guys I wear a 12 to 14 and I've got big boobs so if you were somebody who you know had smaller chest and maybe was a size 8 to 10 or a size 10, 12, then I reckon this wouldn't give you the same support because I don't know, like, I feel like the medium should be so tight on me, um, which obviously is why I got it in a medium, but it's not, it's like there's still movement here. I wish this could go even tighter just so it was like really pulling me in so my boobs didn't move. Um, I mean, this design's quite cool as well, the way it like comes over, but it's still like a little bit playful. Um, it's got ultra breathable technology. Um, engineered for support with dry fit technology so it is a smart bra and um, I do really like it I'm not knocking it I definitely will wear it I just don't think I could run a marathon in it I just don't think like my boob I feel like my boobs are moving I think this would be really good for like treadmill runs um hit training I do think like you could hit train in it um so yeah, I do actually really like it. I feel like I'm being, like I said, critical because it was the most expensive and it's Nike. And I don't think there's that much difference between this and the ASOS one. Um, but I'm reckoning the price is probably quite a lot of different. I don't know right now, I'll have to work it out afterwards. Um, but yeah, like I said, everything's tagged below in the description if you wanted to shop any of these. Let me know which one you think looks the best and which you think fits the best. Um, and if you have any suggestions as well on sports bras and what you would recommend. So I hope you found that helpful and got some tips on which one to go for. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and let me know down below in the comments what you wanna see me do a try and compare of next. I really wanna try and get one of these done every single month because I think they're so helpful to pick the right brands and the right styles and like find something that you might not have gone for naturally but this obviously is a great way for me to try loads of different brands on at the same time so you don't have to thank you so much for watching i will catch you guys super soon bye i just want to make things right